everyone so in this video we'll be going over how to reserve items in a cart so first we're going to create a cart and let's just go into assets and add some items to our cart we'll add the contractor and let's add a laptop click on add to cart and add to the current cart let's also add some asset stock Add to the current cart. Let's go on to the cart page. And here we'll just fill in some details. So since some people use carts like shipments, you can also enter the shipment number, assets identification number. The destination location is where the cart is being checked out to, basically. Description, we have a custom field for cost ID over here. So let's just add that. You can also add items within the cart and also have these settings. We'll go over those in a separate video. So these are the items added. Let's say we want to have like increase the quantity of this item. So we have this card and card and for us it's ready. So let's just reserve it. So here's the, the, res the reservation page for the cart. Um, you can also add comments, reservation dates. So let's say we want to reserve these items for these dates. We're just going to add a signature and click on reserve. So the items have been reserved. We also have the option of verifying a cart by scanning, which you can do simply by going into the mobile app and scanning these items in the mobile app once they've been scanned this these items will be considered verified so we have this as a reserved cart if you go into the back into the cart page you'll see that you can't see the cart here because that specific card has been reserved and this will allow you to make a new cart which here we can see our reserved cart and it shows us the duration of the checkout as well so let's say it's the 4th of December now and we want to check the card out. So to check for conflicts in, uh, in the items of the card, we have this check conflicts button. So let's click on check conflicts. So over here, you can see that we clicked on check conflicts and nothing changed, which means that we're all good. There are no conflicts in this card and we can simply just check out this card now. So we click on checkout and we're done. And the card is now in checked out state.